How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, uh, in the last episode, we found out that this guy has a second thing for us. Um, yeah, hi, Horace. Where is Spirit Medium? I have way too many spells on me. There you are. Well, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Horace? I must tell you about Nazca and Cassiopeia, and about myself. Before you attempt to save Cassiopeia, you deserve to know the truth. It may take some time, but I hope you... Sure. Sure. Thank you, Oliver. Our story begins here long ago, where the kingdom of Nazca once flourished. Though it may appear bleak, and barren now. In those days, it was a mighty empire that combined mighty magic with advanced technology. It was a prosperous realm where poverty and pestilence were all but unknown, and its people enjoyed a life of peace and plenty. But man was never wont to count his blessings and greed soon reared its ugly head. In spite of all they had, the populace demanded more. Friends turned upon one another, families were torn apart, and each citizen strove to better his own lot and outdo his neighbor. Sounds like a recipe for a right old mess that Indeed it was. It led to a series of conflicts that would span centuries. The Wizard Wars. But the course of history was changed with the arrival of a single wizard. Wow! One wizard made that big of a difference? Indeed. This wizard wielded not one, but two wands. His mastery of magic was unparalleled and he soon turned the tide of the war. Through his power, the bitter conflict that many thought would never end was brought to a conclusion in the space of mere days. Wow. Crikey. Sounds like someone you'd want to on your s side in a fight. Why can't I just speak? was indeed fairy. He was lauded as a hero by all the peoples of the world, and his reward was the crown of Nazca. Thus did he become the Wizard King. Wizard King? Cassiopeia's father? The very same. Now, shortly after peace returned to the world, the Wizard King hid one of his wands in the distant land of Autumnia. He sealed it away that it might never be used for evil. Which brings me to my latest puzzle. It has been some time since I last posted you. Posed you a question, has it not? About a week for us, but for them it's probably been about 20 seconds. <laughs> Excellent. My question is this. What was the name of the wand that the Wizard King sealed away? I believe that you know it well. Are you talking about... Wait, do me again when you... Wait. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about Mornstar? Let's try that one. If it's not Mornstar, then it's kind of a no-brainer what it is. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's Mornstar he's talking about. <laughs> Indeed, it was the very one that you carry with you now. No, I carry the other one with me right now. I wonder how the valley where it was sealed fares. In those days, it was filled with the most beautiful flowers. Let us continue our tale there. I will be waiting for you. Oh my. Wait, what the? Uh... Okay, bye. Alright, 
then I guess we're going to the Tombstone Trail. I'm assuming he's waiting whether we've got Hornstar. Plus, there is some stuff we could do here anyway. I see it. Okay, yes, he is up here. Hi! Long button. Thank you for coming, Oliver. This valley changed so much. It was once a place of beauty awash with flowers of every color. No matter... What is done is done. Now, let me continue my tale. The wizard king ascended the throne and won great renown as a just ruler, treating all his subjects equally, be they human or otherwise. They, in turn, repaid him in rallying round their new monarch, and together they rebuilt the, reun the ruined realm more swiftly than any had thought possible. So we got all of the beasties pulling their weight too, did he? I never knew it that month. Nice. Indeed, the wizard king truly was a man like no other. It was then with the kingdom all but rebuilt that he chose the three servants from among his subjects swashbuckling sea captain to represent the race of men, a great wolf to represent the animals, and a serpent lord to represent the creatures. Each was wholly devoted to his master, and did all that the wizard king asked. But of the three, the serpent lord was the wisest, and the most committed to his master's cause. He was known as the king of cobras. Wait, isn't this the guy we fought to release Ali earlier on? Is it the same guy or someone different? And what a mind he had. Ah, to think of how he was then. This seems as good a time as any for your next question. You have encountered these three servants on your travels. But can you recall the name of the mighty No, <laughs> I don't remember. Crap. Uh, I'm looking this up. Okay, I'm looking online. Who the boss of the what was it called? The Cavern of Tears, I think. Um, the Vault of Tears. That's what I meant. Okay, the Vault of Tears. I only know that because I saw a video that was talking about it. The Vault of Tears. Apep. That's who it is. Apep. Hope you enjoyed me randomly scourging on a screen that's on the same as this. Okay. I'm sure listening to me will have served. <laughs> it almost did, actually. A A P E D. That is correct. Though the three servants achieved so much. Their reward was to be chased without dignity from the kingdom they had helped to build. But perhaps that is a tale for another day. 
Yes. We will continue our tale in the very ruins where you fixed. Oh, good grief. You're gonna make me go there? Ah, fine. Okay. Well, I did not know that. I should have, but I didn't. Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> Let me check something really quick. There we go. Now I can use it. The fact that I could have looked at that to find out what the location was called. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's where um, Apep was fought. The exact room. Got it. Let's go. <sighs> Why is the walk so. What the? Ah! I wonder how much that would experience that would have given me. Wait, those show up. Those show up here? Huh. Oops. Ah, crap. Alright, I guess we'll fight these things. There is no chances for them. I mean, we hit them, they're dead. It's a simple, like, two, one, two, three hit kill. You know what? They ran away from me last time, so I'm not giving them a chance this time. Yes, we did it. Good job for knowing that. Hmm. I never really took into consideration that I went back to the beginning. But I do remember that. All right. <clears throat> well, hello, Horus. Well, hello, Horus. Why do I feel like I'm wasting most of my time just hunting you down? Hi. Thank you for coming, Oliver. Shall we continue our tale? I said I would tell you how the three keepers were driven from the kingdom, how they became evil. Below the king, at the head of the Nazcan government, sat the Council of Twelve, a group of lords known as the Zodiacs. Yes, I know who they are. They were responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom, and were supposed to be the ruler's closest advisors. So we all know how that kind of thing always turns out. But the Wizard King's rise to prominence was a source of consternation for the council who feared his great power and the loyalty he commanded among the keepers and so as soon as Nazca was rebuilt and stability restored the zodiacs conspired to assassinate him and their conspiracy was a success that's horrible Wow. With the Wizard King eliminated, the council had complete control of the kingdom. The king's infant heir, Queen Cassiopeia, became no more than a puppet. Compound How do you know this? To compound their villainy, the council successfully implicated the keepers in the assassination and they were banished from Nazca. Huh. Apep lost all faith in humanity, and soon the power of the stone in his possession began to corrupt him, transforming him at last into a servant of evil. Indeed, it was he who reduced this once great city the ruins you see before you now. But 
like. But you've got to feel sorry for him, ain't it? Being framed for murdering your mate would be enough to make anyone go off the rails, perhaps. But Arthur possessed great wisdom. None could have predicted that he would suffer such a spectacular fall from grace. Speaking of predictions, yes. Open the book. Uh, you mean the wizards can be- What other book could he be talking about, Oliver? I do. As you may or may not know, its authors were able to see into the future. Turn to the final page. Prophecies written there. A prophecy of what would become of a certain individual. The person's name, too, is hidden there. Can you discover their identity? I'm actually curious about this one. Most of the time I don't, like, do too much looking, but I'm more curious about this one than anything else. Okay, fine. Disclosure, I usually look up the answers. I don't look at the book. The solution is not a simple one. The wizard will see... I'm actually curious about this one. That was not the wizard's companion. <laughs> Oh, I get what's going on here. Okay. So, let's see. That's the final page. Okay, out of darkness comes light. Keep this book ever at your side, wizard, and you shall one day be called a sage. Permit us to leave you with a poem. A prophecy. Heed it, and repeat not the mistakes of the past. High above the clouds, the child of white light, he casts the world once more into darkness, darkest night. Path unto the dawn was never fair. It is one fraught with suffering and despair. Well knoweth she of both their power, entombed there in her every ta ivory tower. Are you talking about Cassiopeia? I think they're talking about Cassiopeia. Though full many have sought to breach her keep, its walls are too high, its mysteries too deep. Hope springeth yet amidst the flowers. When you find them, you will find her bower. Do you mean tower? Whatever. Each time you fear that you have lost your way, hark unto the child and mark what she would say. To your own self be true. All rests upon you. He's talking about Cassiopeia. It's Cassiopeia, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if I can spell it right. Hold on, hold on. Does it tell me somewhere how to actually... Does it actually tell me her name somewhere? I forget how to spell it. I'm bad at spelling this particular name. Hold up. We're gonna do it this way. Casio P. Ah, there it is. Move that over here. I'm, yes, I'm this, <laughs> I'm this bad at this stuff, shush. I'm spelling this right. Casio. Where's the. There. 
I'm blind. I is blind. That is correct. Perhaps one day the people of this world will see that the White Witch had nothing but the best of intentions. First, she must make amends for what she did. Despair is no excuse. I guess you're right. I remember when she was a kind little girl who loved flowers above all else. That is a story for another time. How many stories do you got? You should have seen the old Cassiopeia once more. There's a cave that lets you see into the past. There's a cave that lets you see into the past? You have not heard of it? I'm certain that it is mentioned in that book of yours. I don't want to look into the book again. That lets you see into the past. I'm too... I... All oh, right. I forgot about that. Till then, Oliver. You know what it is? Not that. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. gonna make me run out of magic, good sir. I have been waiting for you, Oliver. Shall we continue our tale? I was always held a special significance for the people of the Kingdom of Nazca. They were seen as sacred symbols of peace and hope. Queen Cassiopeia loved nothing in the world more than flowers, and her every free moment was spent tending to her garden. Her castle was always bursting with color with beautiful, bright flowers of every imaginable hue. Cassiopeia grew to be a splendid, spirited young woman. Everything her father could have wished for, and all that I had always hoped she would become. Huh? So you knew Queen Cassiopeia when she was growing up? I did. I knew her from when she was a mere babe in arms. But, I digress. Let's talk the flowers and gardens. It reminds me, you have a wand made of an old stick, do you not? Oh, you mean the one that you gave me? And that wand was a gift from the Wizard King. And I to the young Cassiopeia. It was? Jeepers! Love it. We engraved our most deeply held wish for the princess's future. Uh, it was so long ago. I wish to hear those words again. Tell me, Oliver. What does it say? The wand? Uh. Oh, crap. Um. Time for fast mode. Maybe. Not just that, but every word that you wrote here. <clears throat> do, do, do. 
So I took a picture of it as you guys probably saw. First one is... Where is it? If I can find the dang thing. E. Second one... P. Third... O. So far I have no idea what this means. H. What? E P O H, yeah. Okay. I don't know where this is going, but nothing that I know about. What is it? G. E P O H G. This is going so far. What is it? A pog. That's what we have so far. A pog. Um. Next one. N. A pogn. Heck. E P O H G N. Um. It's either an I or a J. Uh, second to the last one is The last one is B. What in the hell? Oh, <laughs> it's backwards. Okay, I just so technically it's E P O H G N I R B. From what the description says, it says bring hope. Finally doing things without the guide. That's that is totally it. Fine, fine. You want to go actual way? Fine. I'll spell bring hope backwards. <sighs> I thought that was supposed to be a trick question, but I guess not. Okay, we just wasted a bunch of time. What does it say, you butthole? <sighs> I'm just gonna look this up. Because there's no way, I mean, bro, it's bring hope. E P O H G N I R B. E P O H G N I R B. It's bring hope. Unless I spelled it wrong like an idiot. Okay, I find it interesting how there are so many different languages here. Okay. It's bring hope, a hole. Let's see what 
want me to put a space there or something. <sighs> oh, screw you. That is correct. Our most deeply held desire was that the people of Nazca should never lose hope. But I'm proud of myself for figuring that out. <laughs> Technically, I figured that out. I just been, didn't put a freaking space. But again, screw you, game, for that. Don't need this note anymore. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> What befell the realm after the Wizard King's untimely demise put pay to any such wishes? The Council of Twelve devoted themselves solely to personal gain and thought nothing of the plight of the people. If only, if only I had done more. What do you mean, Horace? So that I would tell you the truth, did I not? There is something I must confess to you. Something I did, an act for which I can never forgive myself. Into the ivory tower, to the chamber where the council sat. There, I shall tell you everything. Until then, Oliver. Welcome back to normal speed. Let's go to Ivory Tower. Where is the Ivory Tower? Gah, fine. It's like this game wants me to do everything the long way. This way. <clears throat> At least this doesn't take too long to get to Ivory Tower this way. It's still longer than simply just teleporting, but I mean it's right there. Why can't you just give me a teleportation point? It is literally right there. Right there. All right, let's go. All right, well, what? Well, glad we stopped fast mode a moment ago because I wasn't expecting this. Alright, well, I guess. Okay, you're obviously not the guy I'm looking for. Um. Alright, well, we're gonna skip ahead to... When I actually get to that room again, because this might take a while. Finally not speeding up, because this might take a while, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Yeah. Welcome back. May I say that these things just suck? I had to fight so many of them, I, <laughs> I can't even give a number. But the hall that we were talking that he was talking about, I believe, is right up ahead. Hi. You know, you're kind of a butt to make me go all this 
this way. I hope this is the last of it, because if it's not... I have been waiting for you, Oliver. Shall we continue our tale? Long before I ever became known as the Sage of Ages, I fought in the Wizard Wars alongside my teacher, the Wizard King. I often think of those days. How long has it been since I was last here, I wonder? Probably 10,000 years. Blimey, Horace! You're saying you've been to this gath before, like? Indeed I have. In the years after the Wizard Wars, I occupied the tenth seat on the council taking the zodiacal title of get What? G Gallus? But isn't that, you know, him? Ah, yes, the Wizard King's ruse. Even in death, he strove to protect his daughter. That was later, of course, after my seat had become vacant. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. When I sat on the council, to my undying shame, I failed to notice the plotting of my fellow counselors. Uh, I, who thought myself so wise, they disposed of the Wizard King and his three servants, then turned their attention to any who might yet stand in their way. And they considered me an obstacle to their complete domination of the kingdom. Sensing the grave danger I was in, I fled Nazca. I intended to bide my time, to rally forces loyal to the crown, and return to exact my revenge on the council. But the choice I made was wrong. I should have remained at the queen's side. But you couldn't, could you? Those rotters in the council were gunning for your money. It is a risk that I should have taken. By leaving, I sealed the fate of the entire kingdom. Allow me to explain. In addition to my duties as a Zodiac, I had been charged with educating Queen Cassiopeia in the ways of magic. I took it upon myself to create a compendium of spells and arcane knowledge, which I presented to the young queen. Compendium? You mean like a spell book? You mean... <laughs> I rather think you know what I mean. But allow me to ask you the question, for all time's sake. What was the name of that... Really? The Wizard's Companion. You have to put... I'm going to put that just in case. I mean, come on. At least this one's easier. If you say this is wrong, I'm going to smack you. Why am I blind? Are you kidding me? So no the just wizard's companion. This takes a long time to insert, you know? Yes, you are quite right. I, ro I wrote the Wizard's Companion to aid Queen Cassiopeia in her magical education. But little did I know that this book would lead directly to the disaster that befell Nazca. You can flippin- You can't be flippin' serious! How could the wizard's companion have led to Nazca's destruction? What the heck are you on about, man? In my desire to create a tome fit for the queen, I included all manner of arcana magic, including the forbidden spell. But I failed to include detailed notes on the rights and wrongs of using such potent 
incantations. And I fled the kingdom before I could teach Queen Cassiopeia of the perils of the forbidden spell. I was so busy brooding on what manner of revenge I would exact on the council that I failed in my duty of care to the queen. That is how she arrived at her fateful decision. That is why she did not know the true power of mana. But... It is my fault that Nazca fell, and that Queen Cassiopeia was transformed into the White Witch. How could I ever make amends for what I did? It was unforgivable. Reduced to a spirit, doomed to roam the world for all eternity, how could I ever save that poor girl from her fate? That is why I must humbly ask you to right my wrong, to save the queen. You are the only one who can, Oliver. Don't worry, Horace. We'll save Queen Cassiopeia. We'll save the whole world. You'll see. You have my thanks. And I have some alchemical formulae for you. Formulae that I neglected to include in the Wizard's Companion. I pray that they will aid you on your quest. Okay. And now for my final contribution to your cause. Please accept this. Okay, nice. Well, it's about dang time we finish those. Queen Cassiopeia waits within. I wish you luck, Oliver, the pure-hearted one. The savior of our world. Cool. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to head out to the Iron Wyvern, um, but I am going to leave this video here. I've got a lot of fast forwarding, a lot of cutting, well, cutting, no, but a lot of fast forwarding par parts that I need to fast forward and take care of. You guys have already seen them, but for those who stuck around to find out the truth about that guy, Horace, um, if you, I don't know, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. I know this video was a little bit bland, but it was more focused on trying to figure out the story and the puzzles and all that kind of stuff. But if you really like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. We do RPGs. Usually, when they're first time react, that's what it's going to look like. Um, so expect a lot of that from here on. But consider subscribing to the channel if you really like that kind of stuff. Uh, Want to check out anything else that's been done by Level 5 or Bandai Namco? Right now, it's just Band uh, Level 5. Uh, click the link at the bottom right hand corner to try to take you to that destination. Miss any of the stops on this lengthy ride? Click the link across my head here, and we'll try to take you there. In the meantime, this trains off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!